Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Blanco, Senior DevRel Advocate here at AppSmith and also a Google Developer Expert in Google Cloud and your trusty guide to unlocking the potential of internal enterprise applications. Today, I'm extremely excited to announce the newest addition to our data sources, introducing Google Gemini. AppSmith is the no-code and low-code fully open-source platform that revolutionizes how businesses build internal tools reducing slow, expensive development cycles. With AppSmith, you can drag, drop, and code your way to beautiful functional dashboards and workflows in fraction of the time. We empower citizen developers and pro-coders alike to bring their app ideas to life even if they haven't written a line of code in years. Now imagine injecting the power of Google's cutting edge AI into those applications. That's what Gemini brings to the table. It's a revolutionary natural language processing designed to enable businesses to harness the power of AI and machine learning, making your applications smarter and more efficient. So why should you care about this AppSmith Gemini Fusion? The benefits are actually endless. For example, boost productivity. Imagine your dashboards proactively suggesting insights, summarizing data, and even generating reports based on your voice queries. Gemini AI cuts through information overload and helps you make data-driven decisions faster. Also, what about personalizing the experience? Tailor your apps to individual users. Gemini AI can personalize dashboards, reports, and workflows based on user preferences and past interactions. This creates a more engaging and productive experience for everyone. So this integration is about empowering your businesses to do more with your data, streamline processes, and ultimately make better decisions. It's about unlocking the human potential within your organization by taking care of the tedious task and enabling everyone to focus on what they do best. And to demonstrate this, let me show you how it works by building a quick sample application. Let's jump into it. All right, here I am at AppSmith and I have an empty application that I'm going to use for this demo. I named it Google Gemini. So let's edit this empty application. As you can see, I don't have anything. All I did is just create the name of the page, which is called Movie Critic. And the reason I give it that name is because I'm going to be using one of the default database that AppSmith has for testing, which is a movie MongoDB's database. And I'm going to use Gemini to basically analyze the movies and give a criticism for each of those movies. And then I'm going to be updating the records with the Gemini uh, criticism of each of the movies on the database. That's just for the sake of the demo, but I do want to uh, show you how you can easily integrate any data source that you already have in your systems and send data to Gemini to analyze and uh, basically do whatever you want. So the first thing we have to do is integrate Google Gemini with AppSmith. And the way you do that is via an API key and using a data source. So we'll go to the data section on the left and then click on the plus icon to add a new data source and scroll down to the SaaS integration section. There you will find the Google AI option. Click over there and all you will be uh, needed to input is the API key. How do you get your API key? Fairly simple as well. Go to uh, Google AI Studio, formerly known as Google uh, Maker Suite and there you will be able to interact with the Gemini product. And also you can get a new API key. As you can see, I don't have any prompt yet, but all I have to do is go here to the left, get API key, and uh, you will see a list of existing API keys, but you can also click on this button, create API key in new project, and that will basically give you a new API key. I'm just going to use the one that I already created. Just go back and enter here your API key. Test the configuration to make sure it works. And there you go. It works pretty well. So let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Gemini and save our data source. And there you go. 
that's basically pretty much what you have to do very simple right to integrate google gemini with uh, uh appsmith so now let's build our first query basically a query is how we prompt data from google gemini so let's go to the editor section the plus icon and select gemini query once there you will have to enter some uh, information first of all the name i'm gonna call it movie analyzer because that's what i wanted to do you can give whatever name you want and uh, the first thing is define the command right now there's only one command which is generate content but in the future they might be more available to you second the model right now again there's only uh, one model which is gemini pro and lastly the messages this is where we pass the prompt to google gemini and we can pass multiple messages in case you want to give like a conversational you know like a contextual conversation for now i'm going to just ask for uh, one single prompt which is to criticize some of the movies that i have on my database so the role is going to be user because i'm asking for it the type is going to be text either way it's just the only option that we have so far there might be other options available in the future and then the content this is where we actually pass the prompt so just for the sake of testing i'm going to pass a hard-coded value but what we're going to do soon is pass the information from the table over here to make it dynamic so i'm going to tell it you are a movie critic and you are asked to give a review of the and then i'm going to pass the parameters but for now just for the sake of testing i'm going to hard code it uh, to review to give a review of the drama movie called one of them, my favorite movies by the way b for vendetta it's a great movie i hope you have seen it if you haven't take a look at it um and that's it i don't remember the release date i think it's like 2005 something like that but uh, when we pass the parameters from the, the movie stable we want to grab not only the genre and the movie name but also the tagline the description the release date so that way we give more context to gemini to understand what movie we're trying to get some criticism but for now let's just leave it like that and click run so by clicking run we're going to basically pass that prompt to google gemini using the data source we just created using the api key it was encrypted and stored and we're going to get a response and there you go the response is over there we have the structure of the response from gemini is pretty similar to this we have the candidates array and inside that array we have an object which has the content and then some parts it looks like for this one it's only one part which is the actual movie criticism and the Yugo before Mendetta is a masterpiece of social uh, commentary and political thriller, dystopian world before Mendetta, and then well, you have all the information about the movie. Also, you have some metadata, for example, the, the finished reason why the prompt finished, and also some uh, categories about this prompt. Safety ratings, you have uh, that basically we have category, harm, ca category, sexual explicit, it's neg negligible and so on and so forth with other categories so it also categorized the prompt for you it's something very useful that you can use for many different use business cases uh, and there you go that metadata could be really interesting uh, in case you're building like a contextual conversation and continuing the conversation but for now it looks like it do is doing what we need so how do we pass parameters into a query it's fairly simple all you have to do is use the double curly braces and use a, um, a a sentence called this that params and that's how you pass parameters into the query so then when we call this query we, we just have to pass the parameters on the parentheses and that's it just like calling any function so as you can see the way we are passing it is you are a movie critic and you are asked to give a review of the we're passing the genre of the movie then movie call we're passing the name of the movie and also the tagline of the movie released on and lastly we're passing the year that movie was released so there you go the query is built the way we need now let's go to the ui and create the table the movies and everything we need to get this to work um, let's create our first widget into the widgets let's add a table this table doesn't have any data so we have to plug in data let's click on that button and as I mentioned at the beginning, AppSmith normally has two sample data structures so you can test. 
One is a uh, sample users Postgres database and a sample movies MongoDB database. Let's use the movies one. Then we want to say which collection from that uh, database. And lastly, we want to define which searchable column we want to use for the search capabilities. In this case, I'm going to just find the title of the movie. And that's it. What's going to happen is uh, AppSmith is going to basically create the database connection and pull the data and show it on the table. Very straightforward. And here it is. We have the release date of the movie, the ID of the movie, the amount of revenue they made with that movie, an array of genres because a movie might have one or more genres, the average vote for that specific movie, the tagline and the title and other information about each of the different movies that we have here. So what I want to do is I basically want to go to this table, iterate through all of these um, movies that we have here, pass it to Gemini to give us a criticism and insert that criticism into a column that we're going to create right now. So clicking on the table, going to the right, we will see the properties of this table, which name is table one. We can also change that name here. And then let's add a new column which we're going to call critic. And that is where we are going to insert the criticism from Google Gemini. And then let's also drag and drop the title here at the very beginning because I want you to see how it actually works. So here at the beginning of the table, we have the title of the movie and then the critics uh, column, which is going to be filled by Google Gemini. So there you go, we have the structure we need. Now, how do we do this? How do we do the connection between the table and the uh, Google Gemini? The way I'm going to do it, because there are multiple ways to do it, is I'm going to drag a drop and a button. And this button I'm going to call Analyze, not Criticism Movies, Criti Critic Movies. And this is going to trigger a JavaScript functionality that I'm going to write, which is going to iterate throughout the movies on this table, get the criticism from Google Gemini, and then insert that criticism into the table. And it's super simple to do. Let's go to the Explorer and add a new JavaScript object by clicking here, this plus icon. And here there, we're going to write a function. I'm gonna call this one critics that's the name of the javascript object and i'm going to insert the function right here and let's take a look at it because it's fairly simple all right so how it works super uh, simple we have the uh, object here this is the default um, export function that is going to be sent with this javascript object we're going to define a movies data empty array that we're going to be using to ingest the data from the table. And then we have an asynchronous function called review movies, which is the one we're going to be calling when we click the button. And we're going to assign the movies data empty array we defined here at the beginning with the data from the movies collection from the MongoDB. How do we know that's what I'm doing? Well, this find movies one is basically the name that we have here that AppSmith created when it, it we connected the data from MongoDB to the table. And you can clearly see that here on the left. The name of that query is find movies. That's the one that is gonna pull the data from the MongoDB into the query. So that's what we need. Basically, we need the data from the movies. And then we are going to iterate through all of the different movies that we have in that specific movie set. And for each of the elements on that table, we are going to create a new variable and assign the review from the movie analyzer. How do we do that? We call movie analyzer, which is the name that we gave the Gemini query. And then we use the method called run. Basically, we're going to call the, the Gemini by uh, executing that, that method. Remember, we define some parameters in the query. Well, this is Super simple, this is how we pass the parameters to that function. Remember, we need the genre, the name, the tagline, and the year. Well, we are passing that for each of the elements inside the for statement. We are passing uh, the position in the array that we are at at that moment. 
and in this case for the genre because it's an array i'm passing the first element of the array the first genre name then as the name of the movie we are passing the title then the tagline as the tagline and lastly the year that the release year that movie was released and that's it basically we're just calling the function passing the data it needs and gemini is going to send us back the criticism for that specific movie all we have to do here is basically on the critics uh, column we created on the table which right now is empty we're going to inject the response from google gemini remember the structure the response had it was the candidates in the position zero that content that parts also in the position zero tag text and you can also use this um, by using the autocomplete you know AppSmith will basically give you the autocomplete for each of these the different statements and last but not least we have to update the table in the ui with the data that we just created all we have to do is just call table one remember that's the name of our table set data and basically we're going to be updating the data every time we get a response back from google gemini and that's it that's all we have to do super simple right 18 lines of code, we have a whole functionality that reads data from a MongoDB database, passes data to Google Gemini for analyzing and updates the UI. Just 18 lines of code, super simple, plain JavaScript. So let's go to our page again and let's bind the uh, button here with that JavaScript function. So we're going to find our click button um, event so here it is on click let's click the plus icon and we're going to say execute a javascript function critics review movies and that's it that's all we have to do we could also uh, do it with javascript and the way we do that is by enabling the gs option and uh, i'm going to actually call it a wait because remember it is a async function so I'm going to use a wait critics that review movies and that's the name of the method. We don't have to pass any parameters. That's it. So now let's give it a shot. Let's click deploy. And remember, this is a demo. It might work, it might not work. <laughs> so let's click crit critic movie. And what's going to happen is in theory, it's going to go through all of the elements on the table and it's going to start updating the critics on the column. And there you go. It's going to go one by one. Uh, I should make the information on this table uh, easier to read, but for example, here is the one for the Godzilla versus Kong. One will fall is an epic clash between two of the most iconic monsters in cinematic story, and it goes all the way with the criticism for that specific movie. There you go. Uh, let's let me edit this table right here uh, because I want to. Yeah, because I stopped. That's basically what happened. I want to make the information on this table. Let me take a look at it. Here on the uh, critics, I want to make a uh, cell wrapping. There you go. So that way is going to wrap all of the content of that cell because the criticism is probably a lengthy uh, text value. So that should be it. Let's give it a shot again. Let's click Critic Movies once again. And there you go. Well, the first one, unfortunately, I cannot provide a review of the movie Cruella Hello Cruel World as it doesn't exist. Interesting. Maybe that uh, head, that tagline is not, uh, is not good. But for this one, it's working for the Godzilla vs. Kong. There's the whole thing over there. Maybe we should make it a bit bigger here so it's easier to read. And then we scroll down, we should see information about this one, those who wish me dead. And here's the whole review. The year, uh, thriller, who's the director, who's the cast, the plot twist, and then the review. Pretty interesting. Um, very long review for this one and it give it a score, eight of 10 and, and so on and so forth. Here's the virtuoso movie, the title, the genre, the cast, the hypnosis, and then the review. Again, all of this is being created by Google Gemini. Pretty interesting, right? So there you go. That's basically what I wanted to show you 
on how you can easily integrate Google Gemini into your apps made application. Now, this is a sample app, but we just built JavaScript integration. We built uh, uh, integration with our database, our data source, and we easily created a movie analyzer application in less than 15 minutes. So that's it. You can now uh, start integrating Google AI into your application with everything I just showed you. You should be good to start working on that. So we are extremely excited to see how you leverage this integration to drive your business forward. Stay tuned for more updates and do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. You'll find links to the official documentation here in the description of this video. Here at AppSmith, we're committed to helping you to build the future of enterprise applications. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.